last time on the search for the next Elvira. I'm starting for number 66737. Thousands of ghoulish gals crowded the haunted Queen Mary for an open casket call. All trying to become the next Elvira. <gasps> Elvira and her man virus cut them up while cutting them down. It sucks and you know it sucks. She just needs some work in the wig department. And the nose department and the department and the fat department. But even the queen of Halloween met her match. With the help of Helga the Maid, Elvira and the Man Virus narrowed down the field of screams to an unlucky 13. <laughs> it's time for the search for the next Elvira. <laughs> it's simply the most shocking reality show of all time. <laughs> A show so sexy, contestants undress to kill in a sultry lingerie challenge. Suck it in, bitch. Suck it in. A show so scary, it'll melt the skin off a zombie. Ah! Your breath is just burning my eyes. Witness a haunting journey as the unlucky 13 are put through the ultimate scream test. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Only six will survive tonight on the search for the next Elvira. Welcome, darlings. It's me, that gal in the dress who always says yes. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And this is the search for the next Elvira, where we're going to be picking the next... Moi. Now, why, you ask? Because a lot of people were saying there just wasn't enough of me to go around. But there's a lot of me that's been around, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, and speaking of the twins of terror... No, not these. I'm talking about the girls' coaches, my right-hand men, hand men, or uh, maidens, handmaidens. Uh, oh, just, just take a look, why don't you? The first time I saw Elvira was in 1982 or 83, and um, she was on a poster uh, for Movie Macabre. I thought, oh my God, she's so cool. The first time I attempted to dress up as Elvira, my friends were all standing there and they're going, Dude, you look just like her. Putting that makeup on, it's a drag. The process takes forever. And I don't wear prosthetics uh, for my cleavage. Everything is airbrushed onto me. Putting all of my stuff into strategic places so that it's all, you know, pee pee be gone with the magic wand. Putting on the dress and the bra. I mean, the corset is insane. What do you think of my new wig? Does it look like my old one? Oh my god. You can be speechless Patterson drives me nuts. Patterson has always driven me nuts. As an Elvira lookalike, I would rate Patterson as a negative five. And I think a Christian that's kind of, I'll be honest, he can be a really nice guy. He can be a blast to be around. He can be really funny. And he can be really, really goofy and just actually make things really fun. I hate talking about him. I hate seeing him. I hate working with him. Just bump him off. Elvira had been in my subconscious, obviously, since being a small child. It was right around Halloween. I went out and got a big, fake, cheesy foam boob set with, like, the big, giant radio dial nipples on them and put all the makeup on, and I was only 18. I need to go find a new line of work. <laughs> Our unlucky 13 must now rise to the occasion in their first challenge. Now, you're probably asking yourself, does it cost a lot to look this cheap? Well, of course it does. Ha! Let them go. So our first competition was the sexy shopping spree. And they took us to Foreplay on Hollywood Boulevard. And Christian gave us $300 each and said, now just go crazy. But you got 30 minutes. 30 minutes to shop and try things on and purchase? Impossible! <laughs> Don't pick anything that's like too hooker. Like stay away from the rhinestones. Okay. <laughs> Which one do you think would give you like the most maximum like <laughs> foreplay? I think it's fun. Because I like foreplay. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, but anyways, I wish we had more time. It's kind of like foreplay everywhere. 
I would cram myself into one of those. Would you? If I were you. I'm the only guy, and I'm in a lingerie store trying to wear stuff to try to find something that covered as much as possible. That one. It's something that shows off your best assets. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Eric uh, had uh, a little bit of difficulty finding a costume that would fit him in foreplay. He's not the skinniest crayon in the box. A little bit big, you know? I'll tell you what, in those stores, everything is a size zero. Those are for girls who are skeletons. All right, you need help, too. You need help in, like, the worst way. Then Christian tells me that I'm really boring in the stuff that I pick because I like really plain things. I don't like to be too flashy most of the time. Are you the first one? Like it got a little hectic and priests and girls didn't care like <laughs> who saw us in our panties. <laughs> but without the bras, we're like, change, change. Somebody help. I want to look sexy. <laughs> funny because like I'm gonna be wearing this apparently for most of the time and this is an extremely last minute decision as you can tell it doesn't quite accentuate the uh, top area <laughs> for my lingerie outfit I picked a fairly simple um, satin leopard nighty and it looked really nice um, but still very very sexy and I got a little like kind of whip thing with feathers on the end la, la. I don't know how to put this one on. It's all twisted and weird and wacky. And... <laughs> oh my god. I'm blinded now. Oh, forget it. He's he's never going to find anything. Let me try it. He may have to just uh, take a drape down off the window and wrap himself in it. Just suck it in, bitch. Suck it in. Wow. Pick out a new outfit in just 30 minutes? Man, it takes me 30 minutes just to put on my pantyhose. Well, when we come back, we'll see what it looks like when gothic glam gals go on the shopping trip from hell. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Apparently, she thought she was uh, Madonna or Britney Spears because she had a lot of attitude. Christian goes both ways at foreplay. Good Lord. She's dripping out all over the place. And later... It's a scream test, Elvira style. Why, why, why? When the search for the next Elvira continues. Thirty minutes to find two outfits? Huh, that's plenty of time. All you gotta do is find something no respectable girl would be caught dead in. And remember, girls, less is more. Suck it in, bitch. Suck it in. Eric finally found something to wear. My God. I think it was spandex or something. I don't know what it... I, I, I don't know how he got it to fit, but he did. I got just tons of pieces to piece together. I'm going to do my best. I don't know. My first strategy was, okay, you know, they're gonna go for the volume, the gothy look, but I wanted to go for something that was more classy and, you know, a lot more covered up. I mean, I'm thinking just the horn, nothing else. Do you have it small? It's small? Yeah, because I, I come think on. you need medium. Are you sure? I'm sure, but yeah, because... I like, I know, but I like the I know. <laughs> it's gonna be but it's gonna explode. I was just running around and everything I went through it was like large, extra large, really big sizes and I'm like, and that took up most of my time. And the girls finally had to get into the dressing rooms to uh, try on the outfits that became absolute chaos because you know everything was timed and girls just don't take two minutes to go find something where they can go for hours. Now I know why married men drink. I was just ripping through everything trying to find something that was cute but not too over the top, I don't know, it was really hard. Good lord, just dripping out all over the place. By the time I got into the dressing room, I was just throwing stuff on and I came out and Christian was like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It's like, ah! This is torn. And I don't like it. Christian always gives me a hard time. <laughs> so I got lots of that. I just didn't have it together, so I was just putting on these things and knowing they looked horrible and coming out anyway. I think too slutty. 
I think, yeah, yeah kind of there, but kind of not there. And this monster got a little sassy with me towards the end there, and uh, apparently she thought she was uh, Madonna or Britney Spears because she had a lot of attitude. Why are you picking something you already have to take something else up? Okay, you don't have time for this change. There's nothing else you can do. There is tons of stuff. I'm looking at a store full of stuff. All right, go get me something. I am exhausted, so I was sort of bitchy there. Um, I don't know if anybody caught that, but yeah, so whatever. Frankly, if there weren't cameras around, I would have decked her. No Look at that. You can shop at the register. Well, the girls finally found something to wear at a lingerie store. It was not necessarily Elvira, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was more like $3 whore, but hey, you know, whatever. At least they found something. Wow, I haven't seen so much skin since I looked down. Oh, well, my unlucky 13 have made a monstrous mini transformation that'll leave you in stitches. Let's take a look at their pics, be horror and after. Ooh, sorry. Oh my God, I got a pun cramp. Uh, check this out. The macabre makeover for Ms. Monster was magnificent. Jelena made a ghoulish transformation. Shelly's design helped point out her tattoo, followed by April, who sported some very spooky spikes. Like, I usually wear a corset with it. Like, you know, I just feel more like, you know, like, up and pronounced, and, you know, just kind of like, you know, hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> Jenny stayed in the dark. Bridget pointed the way. Mina chose blood red leather. And of course, Asia jiggled all the way back to my spooky haunted castle. I ended up with this little goodie, uh, which, you know, is a little bit on the costumey side for me. Kitty purred in her new skin. Lola bared a little more than her back. Erica surprised, well, everyone. Lady M went for that mini look. Yvette showed some selective skin. I did okay, except for, you know, we have to dress up just a little bit. <laughs> wow. Now, those girls know how to stretch a dollar. When they come back, we'll see which one of these broads can give a killer performance that slays them in the aisle. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered that I used to be a size four. It's the ultimate screen test. Oh my god! I'm in Michigan! And later. It's not going to be up to me. It's gonna be up to you girls. Elvira pits the girls against the girls, and the pendulum starts to swing. Who do you think has copied my dress? Who do you think has cut their dress and sewn it like mine? When the search for the next Elvira continues. say in showbiz what do they say in showbiz oh uh dying is easy comedy is hard unless of course you're blessed with um natural attributes for the next challenge we put our little starlets through the ringer in a scream test thank you all for being here I know it would have meant so much to, to, um... Rachel. Rachel. I'm giving a eulogy for some girl that I don't even really know, even though we just took a road trip together. But I obviously don't care about her because I just slammed the coffin lid shut. Many of you are probably... I tried to sass it up and, you know, class it up and use my eyes a lot and try to be as expressive as possible. Because, because, because. Use my breasts a couple of times too. <laughs> our bazooms are our weapons. I would like to thank all of you for being here. Oops, I already goofed. <laughs> I really goofed. <laughs> <laughs> because for some reason, since I've gotten here, I don't have allergies or anything like that, but my eyes have been watering so gnarly. So who cares if they're watery, right? Hey, you're a funeral. Hey, see? Even though I don't remember the bitch's name. <laughs> Oops, can I see bitch? 
Oh, well. You can now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready. <sighs> okay. They just said action and I went. A little shaky, but you know, I went. <laughs> Okay, can we get somebody that actually can say a couple of words? <laughs> Why don't you tell us how she died, Elvira? It's a lot better when you can like actually read with people. Somebody read the other lines, but honestly, the one that we got, there is like three lines that aren't spoken by Elvira. Yeah, it's pretty much a monologue. <laughs> so anyway, uh, me and uh... Rachel. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, we went out west. The little ghoul wanted to see Holly weird. <laughs> Before he knew it, she was busting out all over the place. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are sane. Why? 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 Yeah, why? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a whole different element once you get the actors in there and the cameras and the set. You know, it's, you can't imagine what it is until you're in there. So that was like, Ugh. She doesn't have all day. I mean, she does, but... I have a nail appointment. I was nervous, but had it all down. Really studied, and the most important thing for me was to get the character out. So me and uh, Rachel, uh, that's right. We headed west. It was awesome. I nailed it, so totally comfortable, and oh, I wanted to just keep doing it. It was so much fun. Lucky for me, all my dates are ghosts, so bad rep is no problem. this straight. You are straight, aren't you? Well, sorry, can I start over? I'm really sorry. Can I start over, please? I'm really sorry. After the first line, the first time, I had to start over again because I, the blocking was there and the lines were there, but they weren't together yet. And so I started over, a little bit nervous, a little shaky. Where was I? Oh yeah, so let me get this maybe sort of straight. This place is cursed? <laughs> Is it? Is it the curse? No, I just remembered that I used to be a size four. Well, that's fine by me. I'm just passing through. Just stopping to smell the roses. <laughs> Little Elvira. They ran me through, like, you know, my marks, where I had to hit the marks, and when to look in the camera, and, um, you know, where to be. Well, lay it on me, tall, dark, and tall. She was the cruelest woman who ever ruled over this barren, wasted land. Oh my god! I'm in Michigan! I think I did good. I really do. I feel good about it. She had black hair like yours. Uh-huh. A tiny waist like yours. <laughs> Gotta love that. Typo. <laughs> Last night as I was rehearsing, I was, none of the girls in my group that had the same script were staying in the hotel with me, so I had to practice by myself. And I was looking in the mirror the whole time and just kind of, oh my god, oh my god. You know, acting out every little bit of Elvira that I could think over and over and going, no, scratch, not that. Oh, sure. She teaches Pilates in Malibu. <laughs> You know, these girls are real Oscar material. Oscar Meyer. Why, why, why? Because. Boy, talk about hams. But the real meat of this challenge is yet to come. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. It was you. <laughs> the screen test continues. Why? Because we wanted to. And later. Rip. What do you think? Six-time Academy Awards winner Rick Baker and Friday the 13th Kane Hodder join the Mistress of the Dog for the next round of eliminations. There was two girls in my estimation that did a fantastic job. When we continue the search for the next Elvira. Well, it's time for take two on our little scream test. After all this, I'll need to take two myself. Hell, just pass the bottle. Anyway, check out the uh, acting chops on these little drama queens. It's 
basically who killed Hunchy, what's her name, girl. Each of you had the opportunity to kill her. And one of you did. And she's pretending to be a Columbo and walking around, sizing everybody up and interrogating them. It was you! <laughs> So she's just blaming people and then going from there. And eventually, she hypnotizes Sinister Man. <laughs> Line. Something's made of iron. Something's made of iron, and it's not your will. I hear and obey. You did it, and I'm going to prove it. How? What, you two, like, geek chorus or something? Zombie guy is, like, totally creepy. I was like, oh. Ah! Oh, Lord. I love to dance, but your breath is just burning my eyes. I can't take it anymore. It was me, all right? I had to do the pendant scene. I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to take my time. I wanted to think about it. I wanted to be very accusational because I was, you know, accusing people of being the murderer. I'm going to hypnotize you. I cannot be hypnotized. I have an iron... Boy, those performances sure moved me to tears. I cried, I laughed, I spit blood. It was better than cats. Black cats. And speaking of bad luck, it's time to slice the competition down from 13 to 7. To help me judge, I've resurrected Kane Hodder, best known as Jason Voorhees. Six-time Academy Award winner, Rick Baker. No one in the world knows more about makeup, except me. Plus, Man Virus, Christian, and Patterson. Okay, girls. You know, you've all done an incredible job. It was amazing. Are you excited? Yes! yes. Okay, you've all done fantastic, don't you think, boys? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they look but fantastic. They do. They look yeah. fantastic. But now, it's time for some eliminations. Miss Monster. What's Miss Monster doing here? Like, it's Miss Monster. Why is she competing for Elvira? Whatever. Rip Baker. What, what do you think? Well, I like her name. It's a good name. Yeah. I, mean, I like the way she looks. And I thought she was really good. She yeah. has nice abs, too. Abs, the abs. Abs. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I can tell she's facing this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. The nightmare continues. You're in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Yvette, come on forward. That's beautiful. I haven't seen her Elvira-ness yet, but she's she's pretty. Now, Tane, let's hear what you thought about Yvette. Well, I think her look is really good. I mean, she's got... You know, a good personality, great smile, and I think she did a good job. Fantastic. You bet. The nightmare continues. Ah! Oh, she's happy. <laughs> oh, that's an action. Asia. I don't know if she wants me to say this, but I was amazed when I found out that those were real. I was like, wow, really? Oh my god, that's that's awesome. I like Asia. She needs to work on her acting a little. She really put the rack back in Dracula, if you know what I mean. Line. Other than the acting, I like Asia. And that's rare, because I don't like anybody Asia, and you know that. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Asia, you've got to rest in The biggest shock for me was when Asia was given the boot. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to cry or pass out or throw up. I, I was sick because I thought that she really was going to be in there till the end. Mina. Can you walk up? Don't hurt yourself in those boots now. I'm all right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Patterson, what did you think of Mina? Um, I wasn't really thrilled with the acting. <laughs> Why are you screaming? But, you know, you're a cute girl. And you're young, so there's a whole lot of time going on, but you know, it's not up to me. You know. Rest in peace. Ah! Helga. Oh, I still love her to death. This was a great experience, it was a humbling experience, and it was awesome meeting all these girls. Helga, you forgot a bone. 
You can keep it. Souvenir. April? Today, I show up and I'm wearing my dress with my boobs popping out. I'm looking hot and I look over and who do you think has copied my dress? Who do you think has cut their dress and sewn it like mine? She did. Well, April, I thought you did a really great acting job. Well, you call it a road trip. <laughs> call it being bound and gagged and stuffed into the back of a hearse. The nightmare continues. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jenny. Jenny is my partner in crime. We're the two tokens, token Vira. So I'm like, go token Asian Elvira. And she's like, go Blue Elvira. So I'm like, that's Black Elvira. I thought Ginny was great. Her performance was really terrific. I... This place is cursed? Ah! I think I actually gave her the highest score, and, and I oh. think when she's made up in the Elvira makeup, she'll look great. Well, guess what? The nightmare continues. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's see who's next. Erica. I love Eric. <laughs> you know, he's having a heck of a time. You know, because it, it takes him a little bit longer, or her a little bit longer to do everything, and she's hanging in there. It almost does take, you know, a, a girl with a little extra something to pull off Elvira. Yeah, you should know. Yeah. No, hey! <laughs> That's not a little extra something, okay? Oh. That's oh. not what I've heard. Oh, oh well, then you've yeah, been, then you've been talking oh. to the wrong people. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, it takes a lot of guts to do this. And, you know, I, 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 like, I like seeing you that you've gotten this far. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen. It's... Erica. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. Looks like uh, Erica had an extra bone there. She was just kind of bummed that she had to, you know, eliminate me. So she says, you know, it's a tough role to do. But, you know, it was great that you made it this far. So that was cool. Jelly. You know what, Shelly? And if you're watching this, you're prettier and smarter than you give yourself credit for. Acting-wise, Shelly needs help. I would like to thank all of you for being here. Oops, I already goofed off! And I was not impressed. That just took it right down for me. I know I kind of goofed, you know, whatever, but I didn't think I was that bad. See you in hell, Elvira. Jelena. Jelena's got the most beautiful eyes that I've ever seen. They're so big, it's like they look right into my soul. There was two girls in my estimation that did a fantastic job with the performance. Oh my God! I'm in Michigan! I think one of the top two for sure. Jelena. Your nightmare continues. <laughs> Lady M. I love Lady M so much. She is so awesome, and she has a great personality, and she's really bubbly, and, and she's just a lot of fun. The performance, the acting performance. Hey, I know it's old, but don't use the curse to make fun of my dress. I felt almost like maybe it, it just was a bad time for you because I wasn't really feeling an Elvira angle on it. If you told me you didn't like the way I looked, I can accept that. To tell me I'm a bad actress, don't accept it. Ah! Oh, I still love you. Helga. You know, I don't feel I did anything wrong. I'm not gonna go by a drag queen's opinion of my acting, whose sole career is based on imitating one actress. A late folk can have to do that. Nothing. Ha! Oh, Helga, didn't you know that was the agony of defeat? Kitty! Kitty, kitty! Kitty, she is gorgeous. When I saw her at the Queen Mary, I was like, oh god, like, she looks so good. Look at that tiny little waist. I thought you did an excellent job uh, acting. She had black hair like yours. Uh-huh.
the nightmare continues. You're Thank you. I'm so excited. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Bridget and Lola. Come on down, girls. Okay. Lola is a lot of fun, and it was her and I until the very end. So we were in it like this. What's not to love about Bridget? Girls, as you know, one of you will be in, one of you will be out. Bridget, I'm, I love the leopard. The choice was fantastic. A little whip action. I'm not so down with the blonde hair thing, as you know. We've gone over that a million times. <laughs> and Lola. You did an excellent acting job, I thought. You did it, and I'm going to prove it. Wow. What, you two, like, geek chorus or something? But you know, we had way too much class. Bridget, the nightmare continues, Lola. <laughs> <laughs> This project has definitely helped my evolution of being a better Elvira, but um, uh, I wish I was around a little bit longer to absorb a little bit more from her. Well, girls, congratulations, and you have earned a party. Last night at the celebration party was really fun. They selected the final seven, and then Elvira walks over and announces that. Tomorrow, as you know, somebody has to leave the show. Right now, I'm going to call two girls down, Miss Monster and Yvette. Girls, can you come over here and stand? It's not going to be up to me. It's not going to be up to Kane Hodder. It's not going to be up to Rick. It's not even going to be up to the evil Christian or Patterson. It's going to be up to you girls, you five girls, to vote for one of these two. One will stay, and one will go to hell. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. It was kind of, ooh, a little scary. Nothing is sacred as the contestants let her rip. Oh, God, is it turning into that kind of competition? No, please say no. I was having fun. When the search for the next Elvira continues. Well, we just clawed our way down from the unlucky 13 to the sinister 7. But whoever said something about 7 being a lucky number wasn't in this competition. Oh, sure. Till now, it's been all high fives and air kisses. Can't wait to see what happens when they have to throw one of their own to the werewolves. Oh, I don't have to wait. <laughs> well, then, just roll it for Pete's sake. My strategy was just, you know, to open, open up myself to the girls and um, let them know how much it means to me and how much, you know, the competition is going to keep on riding with all of us going instead of just being a waste of time with someone else. Girls, I can't even believe it's come down to this. You gotta help me, guys. I mean, I gotta be in this competition with you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I mean, it's, it's not even at the door yet, but have you seen the competition? I mean, come on. That outfit went out with her about 10 years ago. And let me tell you, just like her career. Yvette started off on a good foot, really dramatic and like, come on, guys, I'm gonna stay here with you. Um, and then it kind of got weird, like, I wasn't sure where she was going. Sorry. Ah. She kind of came in playing up the, you know, like, us girls gotta stick together, friend angle, and like, you know, I'm like, that's cool, but we, I mean, this is kind of, I mean, that was like the most excited I think I've seen her since, like, we were, like I think she just like kind of turned it on for the camera. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you, it's been such a wonderful ride with you girls and first she was like who do you who do you like telling me that she wants to be the winner and I was like girl don't go there <laughs> you know what I'm saying you guys are all awesome and we're gonna keep going together I would like to see a really good Elvira I'm badass <laughs> 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 
So that was really going into today with the five women that I had to plead to. Hopefully the best one will get picked. Hello, my fellow mistresses. I came on the show to support horror hosting. So I guess the real question for you is, for the next few elimination competitions, which would you rather? Someone who has your back or someone who's going to stab you in the back? I'm stabbing in the back. That was kind of like, ooh, that was scary. But at the same time was, uh, made you think. I might not have said that line had I been doing a plea, but she is very well spoken. Whoa, I'm like, oh God, is it turning into that kind of competition? No, please say no, I was having fun. Now we have to get one of the two gals to send home and, and that's something I didn't want to have to do. And now I know how Elvira feels. I really feel bad about that. And I don't, you know, it's not an easy decision of who I want to go because I really don't want either to go, but. It's a competition for the best Elvira. I mean, like, I would never vote for somebody that, like, you know, vote somebody off because I thought that they were competition. First of all, that's a big disservice to Elvira. Second of all, I think that's just dirty rotten. I'm really sorry. There was a little bit of politics when we were walking onto the car. People were asking, do you know who you're going to vote for already? What do you think? What do, what's your opinion of this person and that person? And it, it's, it boils down to being a really hard decision. Man, all this talk of killing someone off, it's like planning your own funeral. Sexy. <laughs> who will live to fright another day and who will get buried by the competition? The answer is coming right up after these massages. I mean, messages. Dang. Wow, it's about time. No, really, it is about time. We've got a schedule to keep here, people. Ah, oh, as we have seen, friendship is only as deep as the white foundation on a perfectly sculpted cheekbone. These vamps have heard a lot of chin music about who should stay, but one is about to get the ax as the gals reveal their vote. Take it away, ladies. Okay, ladies, now it's time for Eat Your Own. Girls have chosen one of you to be eliminated. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing, absolutely nothing, okay? So don't blame me. Yvette. One vote. Yvette. Well, Yvette, let me tell you, if there's one more card in here that says Yvette, because there's five people, that means you're eliminated. Yvette. I'm sorry, Yvette. Rest in peace. <laughs> I think it was probably having to talk to the girls and plead for, you know, my last chance to continue on the show. I'm not really good at that because um, I don't really think that I have to beg and plead to get anything. It feels a lot lighter now. Um, there's less women. I think this is when the reality show gets real. Congratulations, girls. Oh, getting voted out is always a real pain in your aspirations. <sighs> Don't worry. Now that we're down to this sexy six, we're turning up the heat. Take a look at our next episode. On the next search for the next Elvira. Oh, she's got like feathers all over her. Something. The sexy six scare it up with a sinister snake. I've been dropping around my neck. I'm like, ah! <laughs> then it's time to see how these Elvira wannabes take control on a date from hell. My mother's calling me. See how reality TV's most annoying bachelors are seduced? Richard Rubin from Beauty and the Geek. No, she's not Jewish. BJ Avril, winner of The Amazing Race. Come on, let's do it. Let's eat, let's eat a scorpion. And Jedi Howie from Big Brother. 
I could feed these two for hours. Yeah. Then it's off to Universal Studios Hollywood, where the sexy six will sell their soul. I'm gonna let some lady touch my boob. I will. Oh, yes. Elvira and the judges will choose the final three, and then America votes. That's right, you will decide who will be the winner. The new Mistress of the Dark, on the search for the next Elvira. Well, our second show is just a memory. Er, a memory. We shopped, we stabbed each other in the back, we laughed, and we cried. We laughed at people who cried. We went from the unlucky 13 all the way down to the sexy 6. Think of it as an Elvira diet, but instead of losing dress sizes, we're actually losing people. I love that. And I love doing this show. I really do. You know, just last week someone said to me, Elvira, why do you do it? And I said, not now, Mom. I am doing a show. <laughs> Till next time, unpleasant dreams.